In today's video, I will be sharing with you all of my Killian fragrances and I will be ranking them in order from least love to most love. If you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're into, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So before we get into the ranking, there's a couple things that I kind of want to get out of the way. So by Killian, um, sometimes known as Killian, I don't know which one is their actual name at this point. <laughs> It used to be by Killian and I believe now it's Killian Paris. So if I switch up the name saying by Killian or Killian or Killian Paris, just know they're all the same. Okay. <laughs> but the founder is Killian Hennessy from the Hennessy family. And if you've er ever heard of any type of alcohol, then I'm sure you've heard of Hennessy Cognac. So with that being said, I feel like a lot of their fragrances do have boozy touches to them and that's kind of something that makes them stand out in the fragrance world in my opinion. Another thing that I wanted to say is that in this video I'm only going to be ranking my full size bottles. I do have quite a few travel sprays from Killing It and at the end of the video I'll let you guys know out of those travel sprays if there are any that I plan on picking up as a full bottle. And then lastly I just want to say all of these are loves for me. <laughs> So even though I will be ranking these fragrances from a worst to best, my worst is still like a great fragrance. <laughs> I still love this fragrance. I try not to keep fragrances that I don't love. So just keep that in mind. These are all going to be good fragrances that I enjoy and that I love. And so don't expect me to dog out any of these fragrances because honestly, if I felt the need to dog it out, it would not be in my collection anymore. So let's get to it. So in eighth place, I have Roses on Ice. This fragrance was released in 2020 as part of the Liquors Collection. So this fragrance to me is all about the gin and cucumber. Initially when I spray this, I get a lot of cucumber. As I wear the fragrance, the gin starts to come out more and also the floral notes in this start to come out more. Now I personally love the opening more than I love the dry down of this fragrance, but I do still love the fragrance and I think it's really great for spring, summer. I wasn't really impressed with it too much in the fall winter. I just don't think it smells fall wintry. To me, this is strictly like spring summer. And this is actually a really good performing fragrance if you're looking for a hot weather scent that will stand out and be different than what everybody else is wearing. So yeah, that is Roses on Ice. The next fragrance that I have is I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. I'm sorry if you guys see my ring light in this bulb. <laughs> I needed some light today. It's very gloomy looking here, but this is what the fragrance looks like. First off, let me just say, I'm not a fan of this whole look of this bottle and this entire line. If you've seen these fragrances, they sell them at Sephora. And I think initially they were a Sephora exclusive. I'm not sure if they're available other places now, but they all look like this and they have these long names and I just feel like I don't want to say it cheapens the brand because I obviously I love the scent it's in my collection but I also feel like this is trying to appeal to a younger crowd based on the names and based on the look of the bottle um please don't get offended by that guys <laughs> but I just feel like I would have preferred something more classic looking, but you know, but this is at a lower price point than the other Killian collection. So keep that in mind. But anyway, this fragrance is beautiful. From here on, we're just gonna call it Princess. We're not going through this whole name, but Princess to me smells like a beautiful, sweet marshmallow that is airy. It does have some sort of tea. I believe it's matcha tea in this. And you could definitely smell that in it as well. It kind of gives it more of an aromatic feel and keeps it from being like too sticky sweet in my opinion. I actually really love this. I used to only wear it at night. Um, initially when I bought this, I bought it in a travel spray, but you see I got the big bottle now. <laughs> and I used to only wear it at night, but now I can wear this during the day. I won't wear it during the day in the summertime, but Fall, winter, I'll definitely wear this during the day and I can wear this summer nights and I think it's a nice really year-round scent 
And if you're looking to step into Killian, I think this line is a good line to start with because they are a bit more unique than like some of the other fragrances that you'll find at like your random department store counter, not including like Nordstrom and stuff like that, but like say Macy's. So they are a little bit more unique, but in my opinion, it's kind of like an easy intro to the brand of Killian, if that makes sense. So yes, that is Princess. So in sixth place, I have Angel Share. And this fragrance also came out in 2020 as a part of the Liquors line. This fragrance got so much hype. And I see why. It is beautiful. This is a boozy, like cinnamon, apple type scent. It's very intoxicating. And although it's intoxicating and it smells boozy, to me, it's still not so heavy where it will kind of like make you feel like you're suffocating in fragrance. So I don't wear this during the hot weather. I, I still wouldn't take it that far. I could wear it at night if I wanted to, but honestly, I can tell you I haven't worn this in the summer at all. Well, I might've worn it to bed, I don't know. But this is not one I would typically reach for in the hot weather, but for cold weather, this is gorgeous. And although it's boozy, I think it's definitely something you can wear during the daytime. And that cinnamon in this is just really exquisite. I love it. The cinnamon apple mixed with the cognac or rum in here or whiskey so good so i know this has gotten a lot of hype <laughs> and i also think this fragrance has introduced a lot of people to killian that were previously not into killian so i kind of think if you're looking for a starter fragrance for killian then princess or angel share would be a good place to start in my opinion um just because i feel like they kind of give you the essence of killian without going like too far to the left it's not it's unique but it's not so unique that you may not like it at first sniff. Does that make sense? So yeah. <laughs> anyway, that is Angel Share. So in fourth place, I have Apple Brandy. Now this fragrance is the booziest of them all. This is the booziest fragrance I have in my collection. This is not for the faint at heart. This is for my hardcore boozy fragrance lovers. So ladies, I will tell you, Unless you're really in a boozy sense, you're probably not going to like this or you may feel like it's too masculine. I, I just want to put that out. I love it and I think it smells delicious, but I know that this is not going to be for everyone, especially for women that are watching this. So apple brandy, as name would imply, is apple brandy smelling. <laughs> this smells like an expensive liquor. I personally don't drink like dark liquor, but my husband is like a cognac connoisseur. And so whenever he's drinking cognac, I have to smell it. And that's what this reminds me of. It smells like liquor, like literal liquor. <laughs> so this is not what, this is not a fragrance that I would wear to work. This is only a fragrance that I wear out at night, like to, I mean, I don't really go to bars or anything, but I've worn this to dinner plenty of times and I love it. It's just so like sweet and smooth and boozy and smells like there's some oak in this. It smells like, if you've ever seen any of those drinks come out, those cognac drinks with like the smoky stuff coming off of them. <laughs> Obviously I'm not a cognac drinker, but if you've seen those drinks and you've smelled it, like if you see it at a restaurant and you see the waitress taking it to somebody's table and you're just sitting there and you get to smell the sillage of that, that reminds me of this. It doesn't smell smoky, but that there's a very strong smell that comes off when those drinks are smoking. <laughs> so if you've ever seen that, then you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, if you haven't seen that, this smells like apple brandy. That's it. So comparing these two, this is like the baby cousin of this one. So this is the grown man uncle and this is the baby cousin or whatever nephew i don't know <laughs> they are related in some sense because of the apple and the booziness to them but like i said this one is definitely more literal than angel share so in third place i have love don't be shy extreme and i'm pretty sure this is the newest killian fragrance that i added to my collection this is still available although it is supposed to be limited edition uh, but this is the extreme version of Love Don't Be Shy. Now, in my opinion, I've done a video all about the comparison between the two. But just a real quick synopsis. In my opinion, this is not the extreme version. But this is actually a more like well-rounded version and a more floral version. So I was going to put this one and Love in the same spot. But I kind of felt like I couldn't. <laughs> and I'll tell you all more about that when you see my number two. 
but they are really 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 similar if you have one you probably don't need the other what i will say about love extreme is that this one is definitely more suited for warm weather than the original love so if you don't know what love extreme smells like this is a very popular but it's the marshmallow and neroli or orange blossom scent that is very sweet and in the extreme version it also has also has a floral note that kind of keeps it a bit lighter on the skin but although it's kind of like light the sweetness is still definitely there um, but just not as tooth achingly sweet as the original and this one is actually pretty long wearing even though it does feel like a lighter scent so yes third place i have love don't be shy extreme so we're at number two and i have to tell y'all i've been putting off doing this video because i could not decide between second place and first place and this is really hard for me and so over, over the past couple days i've been spraying on both of these fragrances and like wearing them side by side like on my hands <laughs> just so i could come to a final decision but let's just know that if i felt like ties were fair it would be a tie but i feel like that's cheating so i had to pick a number one and a number two but let me tell you there's not much difference between my love for each of these next two fragrances so in second place i have back to black so back to black is a powdery honey tobacco tonka scent that is so intoxicating i'm not 100 percent if cherry is a note in this fragrance but it definitely smells like there's some cherry hanging out in the background of this fragrance it's not a cherry predominant scent in my opinion this is definitely all about the honey and the tobacco and the powderiness i love it so i know this fragrance kind of gets a lot of mixed reviews especially from women because i definitely don't think it's for everybody i don't i think that a lot of people won't like the powdery nature of this and a lot of people don't like the honey in this but for me i love it and i think this is one that i can wear and i don't have to worry about smelling like anybody else so even though this is popular in the youtube fragrance community i honestly don't feel like it's that popular amongst the newer fragrance reviewers when i first started watching fragrance videos i heard a lot of people talk about this but i feel like the newer group of us <laughs> don't talk about this much so i'm here to give it a little shine i love this it's not for everybody but i think if you have a chance to smell this you definitely should it is unique it is beautiful it will make you stand out without doing too much and yeah i love it it's perfectly unisex so keep that in mind if you don't like unisex fragrances don't worry about this one but i think it sits perfectly unisex i don't really think it leans masculine or feminine yeah i think it sits perfectly unisex so yeah this is back to black all right so we are at the number one spot and i'm sure you guys have probably guessed it by now but it is none other than love don't be shy so i have mine in the black bottle this now comes in the white bottle with gold writing i've heard that that formula smells a little bit different or is less potent or less long lasting i really don't know so i can't compare the two i'm not gonna go out and buy that just to be able to compare them honestly <laughs> but i love the one i have here this is a beautiful orange blossom marshmallow scent that is very very sweet so much so that this is not going to work for everybody because some of you guys may be like tooth achingly sweet for for me it's not i happen to really love it i think it's very unique i know over the last few years a lot of fragrances have come out that have been kind of similar to this from what i've been told or from what i've smelled however i still feel like there is nothing like the og this one is beautiful and i know this is marketed as unisex but i honestly could not imagine a man wearing this it's just so sweet this is like a dessert in a bottle like this is so sweet but it's something that i just cannot stop sniffing like hands down cannot stop sniffing it i think it's perfect for date night i think it's perfect for even like netflix and chill if you want to do the most <laughs> but yeah date night is typically what i reserve this for and that's why i don't wear it that much but i honestly smell it all the time but i don't want to wear this all the time if that makes sense i like to reserve it for like date night or something special to that extent but um yeah i love it it's so beautiful and yeah it's it's amazing it's amazing and i love it and it's my number one so those are all of my full bottles i do have quite a few travel sprays like all of this <laughs> 
so I have smelled quite a bit from Killian because like I said, I have all these travel sprays and I have these here. So here is um, Good Girl Gone Bad. And then I have Moonlight in Heaven. This one is, this one is Black Phantom. And then in here is a gift set that I got last year around Christmas time that comes with eight different travel sprays in them. Some of them are ones that I own and some of them are ones that I had never smelled. So this was a really good opportunity for me to smell some of those that I hadn't previously smelled. And I will tell you that out of the ones in this travel set that I don't already own a full bottle of, the one that I really want is none other than Intoxicated. So this is a beautiful like coffee and cardamom scent. It is gorgeous. I wanted it last fall, winter, but I had never smelled it and I didn't want to blind buy it because I saw so many reviews and I thought it may be too masculine or too literal coffee. <laughs> and because of that, I did not buy it. But when I got this travel set, I knew that this was firmly on my wish list now. And so I will be picking it up sometime this fall, winter to wear and enjoy. So yes, to me out of this set, the standout for me out of the ones that I do not own is Intoxicated. So I'm not gonna go into detail about the rest of the travel sprays because I just feel like that would prolong the video. But just know I have smelled a lot of Killian. <laughs> so the ones that I own full bottle are here for a reason. And my next one is definitely going to be Intoxicated. Now I did see that Killian it's going to be coming out with two other fragrances from the liquors line meaning they're going to look like this and i think one is called like apple brandy light or something like that <laughs> so it's going to be a lighter version of apple brandy i really want to smell that <laughs> but i kind of feel like do i need it because i have the original apple brandy i don't know i don't know if i'm going to blind by that but wait and see i, I probably will and then the other one, I can't remember what it was called, but I remember it's focused on the note of absence. So I think that will be very interesting to smell as well. So anyway, let me know in the comments below, do you own any fragrances from the Killian brand? Uh, do you like any of them? Are any of them on your wish list? And if you are a Killian lover like me, please let us know down in the comments what is your favorite fragrance from the brand? And also, what do you think is a good starter Killian? I think that would really help people that are researching the Killian brand and trying to figure out what fragrance they should buy first. So yeah, definitely leave that in the comments below, not only for me, but for a fellow people watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Also, make sure you're following me over on Instagram. I like to give a lot of sneak peeks over there and just share a little bit more about my life. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoy making it. Thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.